well, there's an enormous amount of research on the effect of sugar. I mean, this is really a big area of research. So there's just thousands of studies that have been done on the effect of sugar on general health, on recovery from injury, and its relationship to degeneration of the brain, like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. What they've discovered is even a moderate elevation of sugar is damaging to the brain. And in stroke patients, we know that even moderate elevations of sugar determine your prognosis. If it's slightly elevated, your prognosis is poor. The higher the sugar, the worse your prognosis. And that's because to the brain, the sugar dramatically increases free radical generation, and it produces what we call advanced glycation end products, AGEs, which cause cross-linking to proteins, interfere with the various enzymes, uh -huh. and so the brain can't function properly. Uh, one of the really startling things is it dramatically increases inflammation and excitotoxicity in the brain, what I call amyloexcitotoxicity. And that's the major mechanism by which head injuries, strokes, oh, right. any kind of injury to the brain produces its damage. So by raising glucose, you're actually increasing the damage to the brain and reducing uh, the possibility of a good functional recovery. Well, if, if you look in the ranking of the sugars, glucose is the least damaging because that's what's naturally in your body. Uh -huh. Sucrose is a little bit more damaging. The worst of all on this scale is high fructose corn syrup. And what we're looking at, for instance, in, even in cancer research, mm -hmm. people who consume the greatest amount of sugar have the highest incidence of cancer. It's quite dramatic. It's something like a 200% increase in wow. uh, the more sugar that you consume. Uh, and the same thing with neurodegenerative brain disorders. People who consume more sugar have more neurodegenerative brain disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And we know why, it's not a big secret. We know that, in fact, that increases free radical generation in all the cells of the body, particularly the brain because of its high metabolism. We need, know it's producing these AGE complexes, which also dramatically increase free radical generation, trigger inflammation in the brain and in the body, which is highly destructive, again, connected to cancer, degenerative brain disorders, and cardiovascular disease. So all the major diseases, the major killers, the major crippers uh, in human health are related to high sugar intake. Yeah. So uh, if you're drinking that one, well, that does some damage if you're drinking two or three or four or five or a six pack uh, of a cola. Many people do. Yeah. Uh, what they've shown is, is, in fact, the greatest increase in drinking sugar drinks is in people over age 50. Or then even the teenagers, their increase really? is, is increased greater than teenagers. I so uh, when I go out and I look at restaurants and I, and I see people eating and buying things in stores, I see a lot of elderly people uh, yeah, buying yeah. uh, Coca-Colas. And right. well, usually what you find is if you, if you get off of the, the colas completely and just start drinking purified water, uh -huh. uh, filtered water, distilled water, you lose your taste for it. Yes. If you try to go back, it's just like drinking heavy syrup. It is. You can't stand it. So that helps you get off of it. The other thing is switch to things. If you, if you want something other than just water, you can have a cup of coffee uh -huh. or a couple of cups a day. You can have a white tea, yeah. which has the highest antioxidant uh -huh. level. Uh, it uh, helps prevent cardiovascular disease. It protects the brain. Uh -huh. uh, so it has numerous benefits. It contains chemicals that are powerful anti-cancer agents uh -huh. uh, inhibit the growth of cancer. So uh, by switching to things that are just as tasty, <laughs> the old adage of jumping out of the pan into the fire. Yeah. Okay. Because you're going from in the pan where it's pretty hot and doing a lot of damage into the actual fire itself. And that's the aspartame, the Splenda. Mm -hmm. Now what we know from these agents, particularly the aspartame, there's, there's significant research now to show that it is a major cause of certain cancers like breast cancer, lymphoma, leukemias, oh my God. Uh, brain cancers. So we've got some links to some very bad diseases and we know why because aspartame is broken down into formaldehyde, 
Formaldehyde is a known powerful carcinogen. It attaches to DNA, breaks yeah. the DNA, and that leads to these diseases. It also increases your risk of degenerative brain disorders because it breaks the DNA of brain cells. Mm. Uh, so this is a very bad substance. Uh, and uh, we have enough research now to know that it produces depression. It produces cancer. Uh, it may increase suicides. Uh, so that this is not a good choice. Now the Splenda is a uh, chlorinated uh, glucose. When you add a halogen, which is a very reactive element, mm -hmm. to glucose, it becomes carcinogenic. It damages cells. It increases free radical generation. Mm -hmm. So by adding the artificial sweeteners, mm -hmm. you're directly damaging yourself with some very powerful toxins, plus you're not getting rid of your sugar cravings. We have a higher content of these uh, neurodegenerative protecting uh, nutrients in it, like your flavonoids and anti-cancer elements in it. Uh, you need to eat healthy plants so that they're, they're not diseased, but the organic is good. You even need to wash organic because some of the atmospheric pesticides will get on it. Uh, you need to drink purified water, uh, avoid fluoride. Don't ever drink fluoridated water, don't use fluoride toothpaste or get fluoride treatments. Mm -hmm. They're extremely brain toxic. They dramatically increase cancer risk and cancer growth. Uh, they have numerous effects in the body, particularly suppressing thyroid function. Uh, so you need to avoid the fluoride. Mercury, for instance, dental amalgam, vaccinations with mercury in it. Uh, you need to make sure that you're not intolerant or allergic to the foods. Uh -huh. uh, it's a good idea at, one, at least one point in your life to, to be tested for various food allergies. Uh, Exercise regularly. We know that exercise improves brain function.